Hey there, everyone. Good morning. Let's see. I know I'm popping on a little early, but I just wanted to get my camera set up as usual. And often what looks like on my screen is not what it looks like once I go live. So I always kind of pop on to adjust. Oh, hi, Claire. Hello. I just finished watching your um, Derwent drawing review, and now I want to use mine. <laughs> I need to use mine. Hi, Desiree. Let's see. At least I don't look orange today, so I think we're good. Hi, Melissa. Oh, both Melissas. Hello, hello. Made myself a little cappuccino this morning. Need a little extra pick-me-up. Oh, you did way better, Claire. I was watching what you colored with them, and I'm like, dang it, I didn't even think I'm making gold. <laughs> so, yeah, you rocked those things. Hi, Michelle and Dee. Hi, Pearl. Sorry, I had a mouthful of cappuccino. <clears throat> I, so I bought this new Keurig that makes, like, cappuccinos, and it froths the milk for you. And I keep not using it, and I go buy coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, you know, I need to stop doing that. Hi, Michelle and Emily and Debbie. Yes, I know. Um, I know like we have our usernames and then our real names, but I always call people by their YouTube username. And that's just because not everybody knows um, their actual name. And so sometimes people can get a little confused. So it just makes it easier for everyone who's kind of like joining in. Hi, Amethyst and Christina. If I missed anyone, sorry. I'm just trying to suck down some of this, this cappuccino. Get my whole energy going. Hopefully, I might need to adjust my blinds this morning. Hi, Valerie. In fact, real quick, I'm going to adjust my blinds. <laughs> I have that problem too, Claire. <laughs> You're fine. There we go. I had to adjust the blinds while smacking my camera. I'm sure we all love that. <clears throat> it does make it easier when people's actual name is in their username. Then I'm like, oh, I know their name. Ha ha. Hi, Emma, my dear Joanna B. Oh my gosh, hopefully no one hears me slurping. My husband says I'm a slurper with my coffee. I can't help it. Oh, thanks, Michelle. <clears throat> oh, so many things to haul. We love our haul videos though, don't we? Hi, Sonia. I think today I'm gonna start with books and then we'll do like the little coloring goodies after. Hi, Sam. And in fact, one of the uh, one of the things I purchased showed up this morning. That's like the earliest um, Amazon has ever delivered <laughs> to me. It was like all my doorstep at eight o'clock this morning. I'm like, oh, well, hello there, Amazon. <laughs> so, yeah, that'll be fun. We go through the alphabet. I know it's hard. It's hard to remember people's names in general. And then also there's so many of us, like not everybody knows everyone's name, you know? And, um, I mean, for the longest time, not everyone even knew that my name was Corey. So I was never offended if people called me colorfully or whatever. It's So I just go by usernames just so that those who don't even know the real names, that helps them too. And then we all know who we're talking to as well. <laughs> Hi, Deb. Oh, yours is coming Tuesday. So mine, um, I pre-ordered it, and I'm surprised Book Depository actually sent it because we know how they can be. Um, I got a notification that it's been handed off to USPS, but they haven't updated it yet. So um, I don't know when mine is going to come, but we have a holiday uh, tomorrow, Labor Day. So that's going to obviously screw things up, but... You started a list. Uh, that's uh, too much. <laughs> oh, no, my name's not Emma. Not today, at least. Not today. Hi, Emily. 
All right, I am going to start pulling out some goodies. We're gonna start with books, cause, um, so I did a book de-stash, and then I bought more books. <laughs> so, <laughs> clearly the de-stash was like, I don't know, me just going, let's make room for more books. I don't know what I was thinking there, but there there were some new books uh, that I just really wanted to get. And you know what? Whatever. There will be another de-stash down the road. Yeah, I got a notice too. Um, and normally they lose my orders. So I was like, whoa, book depository. Thank you for fixing yourself. Hi, Karen. Okay. <clears throat> Is the audio weird? Let me know if it is. No one's on the internet except myself. I know, the books just make me happy and there's some that I've been meaning to buy. So I was just like, you know, it's fine. And I, I de-stashed and I made room, <laughs> so <laughs> it's fine. There's popping sounds, that's weird. Huh, interesting. Yeah, I don't know, because it's just my, um, I do have my air conditioner on above me, but hopefully that's not what's causing it. Let me know if it continues and I'll change over to my headset, but my headset sounds um, like I'm in a tunnel half the time. I need to buy my new mic. I've just been spending my money elsewhere. <laughs> so. Okay. Well, let's get started with the books um, that are going to replace all the books um, that I have de-stashed. Let's see so when I'm speaking. Maybe. I'm using my, um, my webcam mic, though. That's normally pretty good. Let me check the capture on it. <clears throat> real fast. Do, do, do. Yeah, next haul a new microphone. I know I, I keep meaning to buy the Yeti, but then I buy like something like colored pencils or something like that. So uh, what you gonna do? Da, 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 da. Yeah, the capture on it is working okay. So I don't know. Let me know if it keeps continuing. Um, it could be the interaction because we have my AC vent is literally like right above me. Um, and so it could be kind of like a mixture of that when I'm trying to talk. Uh, it's pretty loud because I have it on full blast because I am sweating up here. <laughs> I came into my art studio and I was like, oh, my gosh, it's a sauna. Whew. All right. Well. <clears throat> oh, you got the Tim Holtz ones. I saw those yesterday and I was like, oh my gosh, um, now I need to buy those. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm kind of curious though. I want to watch some videos on them and see if they're like, um, I don't know, if they're more crayon like I don't know they look weird they look like crayons but I haven't watched any videos they just look like a long crayon and I am still stuffy and uh congested too in my voice just FYI so we shall see um oh I guess Nightbot is here to bug us okay so um two books that I got this month are inklings um I've been meaning to buy the Inklings books, and I just haven't. Um, one, because they're Amazon printed paper, which just drives me bonkers. And then two, I just didn't know if I would like them, but I decided to give them a go. So I got the mini Inklings because I love the mini books, like, you know, these pocket size ones. You can just toss them in your bag. Um, I buy like all the Hannah Lynn ones. <laughs> um, and then I even have some Selena Fennec ones. But the artwork is really cute. So um, this artist does have an Etsy as well. 
But yeah, I decided to get some of these and just try them out. We'll see. <clears throat> but the mini one I thought would be fun just to, you know, see how I do with it. I like her art style, though. It's very, it's very freeing. And it's very unique. She's not like other artists out there. So I do really enjoy it. Yeah, I love the mini books. Oh my gosh, my nose. <clears throat> okay, and then I got the Astro um, Inklings one. So this is the Zodiac one. I can't remember why I picked this out of all the others. I think it was because there was some diamond paintings that I was eyeing that had this artwork. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it was. But... Yes, Brute Fruiner Squares, um, Prisma. Someone said Pablo's, but I haven't tried it yet. Hi, Christine. But yeah, I think that was why I picked this one was because um, I had seen some diamond paintings. So Capricorn, this one's for me. <laughs> so yeah, these look really cute though, I think. But it looks like, <clears throat> are these doubled up on the images? So we got Aquarius there. I just want to see because there's not that. Yeah, so we got two of each image in there. So that'll be good in case I foobar on one. <laughs> I'm trying to learn or better myself at marker bases. But man, I don't know why I can't grasp the concept of a marker base. I just suck at it. Okay. Then this one's going to just shock everyone because I never buy mandala books, but I decided to give the 100 mandalas by Coco Wayo a try. Um, <clears throat> it got so warped in shipping though. It's like, ugh. it's a thick book too, by the way. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Hi, Larissa. So yeah, I kind of like browsed through it. It does have a black backing. It is Amazon paper, um, as are all Coco Wayo books, but um, it's got quite a mixture. Like, so, I mean, you got these ones here, it's like all bugs. These I'll probably skip over because I'm not really, that's not my really, my mandala jive. <laughs> I like traditional mandalas like this style here. But yeah, there's quite a mix of like, some are really fine lines, some are thicker. This one's actually really pretty. Um, <clears throat> like, see, this is a little, getting a little darker, but very pretty, pretty ones. So some are really intricate, some aren't. Um, that one looks really fun, actually. So yeah, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to play around. Um, oh, thank you, Debbie. I enjoy drawing mandalas. Sometimes I do that when I don't feel like coloring a mandala. I just draw one. <laughs> And funny enough, I don't color in my own mandalas. I probably should, <laughs> but this one looks fun too. So yeah, these are really good um, designs in here. Just the, the oddball ones that have like, you know, not your traditional mandala style, I probably won't color in. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so I got the new Whimsical Darlings Halloween from Yana Prosperina. So funny story about this. Um, I went to go check my P.O. box. I haven't been to my P.O. box in like four weeks because I've had COVID and everything else <laughs> going on. Um, so I finally made it to my P.O. box and this was in there, but it just had like some random... Um, like shipping PO order. And I was like, who, who did this come from? Well, it turned out uh, the artist herself had sent me this book. <laughs> so I had messaged her and I was like, hey, by any chance, did you send me this? Because um, I had just uh, found this on Etsy and I was like, hey, everyone, here's her new book on Etsy. And I actually bought the Etsy edition. Um, so yeah, when I, when I got this in my PO box, I was like, wait, what? But yeah, so Yana had sent this over to me. Um, so I thought that was really sweet of her. And she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you I sent it to you. <laughs> so I was like, it's fine. I'm totally happy. But these are 
part of her Darling series. So they are really um, like simple images, but super cute color. Hi, Rainbow Kitten. Rainbow Kitten coloring sister. I love that. <laughs> But, like, I mean, they are just so cute. You, and these ones are really fun to do with markers because they are, like, really open. And you can do all sorts of fun stuff with them. But, yeah, I mean, we've got boys and girls in this one. There's a boy here. Oh, you're not that late. See, look at that. Isn't this cute? She does the cutest stuff. So this is on Amazon, but you can also get it on her Etsy. I had put it in my... Um, community tab. I just printed her September countdown calendar and I need to <laughs> get on that because a couple days in. But these are just so adorable. I love her work though. All her work is fun. But her, yeah, so anytime you see the whimsical darlings, they're like an easier one to color, but um, great for markers. Love them. So a special thank you to Yana for sending that to me. Okay, <clears throat> so I have, let me find the other one, hang on. Okay, I have some mystery happy mail. <laughs> um, I had put a post in my community tab a while ago saying, hey, did anyone happen to send me some happy mail? Because I just had a bunch of happy mail from Amazon show up but there was no no message on any of them like i looked and they all came in separate packages um one included a package with a clip-on light and magnifier for diamond painting um which i'm going to show in a different video but it also came with this enchanted forest postcard book and then the newest color and chicks book so if anyone happened to be the one that sent this happy mail to me. <laughs> thank you. I really want to know who it was though so I can can thank them. Um because normally I wait until I know who it is, but uh no one's let me know and it's been about 2 months now. So I just decided I would show it in the hall and then hopefully um the person that sent these my way can uh, message me on Instagram. <laughs> so the first thing is uh, the Cool and Beautiful Fun Fantasy. This is the Grayscale um, Coloring Book number seven from Daria. Hi, Hannah. So I've stopped buying a lot of her um, little Etsy PDFs because I know they're going to come in a book soon. Um, because I've been like going through where I'd buy a bunch of PDFs. I actually like this one of the older, older gal. <laughs> um, but yeah, then you end up with all of them in a book anyway. So I'm like holding off now. Yeah, Amazon normally puts um, gift messages in them. That's why I was like uh, kind of caught off guard. But if it comes from a third party, like say sometimes it's not shipped from Amazon directly, then you don't get the gift card. So this had no card in it. Um, so I was like, oh no, who sent it to me? Because it's really pretty. And I was meaning to buy it. So I mean, it's just like, I, I want to say thank you. But I'm saying thank you to whomever sent this one to me. And I don't know if it was the same person for all three or uh, different people. <laughs> so that's the thing. So the other mystery happy mail was this Enchanted Forest um, postcards. And as you guys know, I do have that mailing list. It should be in the description below. Um, I need to double check if it's there. But, um, you know, I have that gift list where I'm just going to be coloring postcards and sending them out to subscribers who are on the mailing list. So they'll be sent at random. So I was wondering if someone maybe sent this to me because it was one of the ones I didn't have. But this is Johanna Bassford's Enchanted Forest. You get 20 postcards. They even have a little backing, which is awesome. Um, it is in the description. Okay, I couldn't remember if it got removed. But yeah, so these are um, like their mini images of her book. So it is really cute. I did a how to color gold tutorial 
It was my first video on my channel using this image. <laughs> Don't watch it. It's horrible. The video quality. Oh my. I think I said um like 5,000 times. I need to redo that video. Hi, Carol. Hi. Is it Banu? Is that how you say it? I, I don't want to say it wrong. These are so teeny tiny. They're so, they're going to be good for like fine liners. Really cute little postcards though. So thick too. I could use watercolor. I'm like trying to make sure I don't miss one. But yeah, I didn't have this one in my postcard collection. So that was, I did say, all right, awesome. Ooh, that one would be so fun, so fun. Splash some watercolor on that. So yeah, this will be a fun one to color. So a special thank you to whomever sent this to me as happy mail. Um, I really appreciate it. And I'll put it in the um, pile of postcards that'll be going out as happy mail to you guys. All right. Um, okay. <clears throat> So I canceled my, <clears throat> excuse me, Coloring Heaven subscription. And of course, after you cancel every single book they release, you're like, oh, I want that book now. So that's just a given. But I had canceled because there was a um, like string of books where I just didn't like them at all. So I went back to doing what I normally do is I wait till I have about three that I really want to get and I just buy them off their Etsy. And so I have ordered my batch of three. And by the way, it takes like a month to get them, <laughs> if not longer. I actually just now ordered my next batch of three. So some of these are pretty old. Um, well, old. But uh, the first one I got was the Gods and Goddesses special. So this has Josh Lee, um, which I know Emma and Erica both love Josh Lee. So a bunch of illustrations. Let me zoom out a little because some of these books are like just barely all up in frame. Hang on. Yes, I know you love Josh Lee. That's why I said that real fast. <clears throat> it, let me know if it's blurry. I know we had some uh, sound problems, but so yeah, these ones are all by Josh Lee. We've got some gods and goddesses, so that means we got the dudes in here. So I need to get over my fear of coloring men. <laughs> but I really wanted to try this. I do like Josh Lee's art style. I just have to be in the mood. But some of these images, I was just like, oh my gosh, I've got to buy it. This one actually was one of them. Look at that. That is just so pretty. Yeah, I, I had canceled mine and then like freaking every book they came out with after. I was like, dang it, I want it. That one's actually really good too. So yeah, these are so pretty. Oops. But yeah, so that's the Josh Lee one, Gods and Goddesses Special. Okay. And then I could not pass up the Gothic Fantasy Special. Um, yeah, sorry, just couldn't. Ennis Guerrero, love the work. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. So pretty and dark, very dark. <laughs> but I just love the artwork. I mean, it is creepy. It is beautiful. I mean, look at this stuff. I love it. I mean, I just, yeah. So I couldn't pass this one up. It's just gorgeous. And luckily it came in time for Halloween. So phew on that one. Yeah, I just placed my next Etsy order for a batch of three. So I just wait till I get batches of three. Ooh, that would actually be kind of fun to do. I like that one. Hi, Sabina. And currently hyper fixated. <laughs> Love it. Uh, but yeah, the artwork is just so beautiful. See, this is an exclusive. So we get some exclusives in these Coloring Heaven editions. That's one thing I really like. This is exclusive as well. They usually tuck the exclusives at the front. Um, my favorite medium to use on these, the paper's actually not bad. So I've used my Brute Funer Squares, uh, my Prismas. I have used my Polychromos. 
Uh, I didn't like the polys as much on these. Um, that one is so cool. And then, um, <clears throat> what was the other oil-based one I did? Oh, Starjoy Gold worked pretty, pretty good. Yes, they do have them at Walmart and um, they have some at uh, Kroger grocery stores as well. But um, anytime I go to my Kroger, they don't have them. So <laughs> I guess I'm not one of those lucky Kroger peeps. Um, so then I got the Fledgling Fairies. Now these are Christine Caron. Now I buy all her books and pretty much all her images. So I'm going to have some overlaps, but whatever. That said, there are 10 new and exclusive and those are the ones up at the front. So like some of these you'll recognize from like old PDFs or her books you can get. Like this one is in one of her books and you can get it on her website. The Leaf Writer, I have been meaning to color that every autumn for oh, what, like two years now? Sugar Plum Fairy. So yeah, some of these I already have, but honestly I wanted to get the exclusives. This one is so cute. I've seen it done so many adorable ways. I can't, can't even tell you. This is one of her older works right here, actually. Some of her older work, I feel, doesn't get enough attention. You know, before she started going heavy on the grayscale, her older line work was so cool. Let's see, I'll show you some of the exclusives. Okay, so we have an exclusive here. This is a really cute one. She's holding, is it, what is that, eggplant? I don't know what she's holding, but it's cute. <laughs> we got a little exclusive. Oh, look at the little guy. Oh, that is so cute. Hi, Dan and Brittany. Oh, that one's an exclusive as well. Here's another exclusive. Hi, Kirsty. This is an exclusive as well in this book. Oh, that's adorable. Oh my gosh, I love this one. I haven't looked through these, by the way. <laughs> I love this one. Oh, that's freaking adorable. So that's an exclusive. So is this one here? This would be perfect for fall. Another exclusive. And then this one up front. Oh, well, gosh darn it. That's adorable. So that's an exclusive as well. So yeah, that's one fun thing about these special can get those exclusives. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. So then I bought the Witches, also by Yana Prosperina. I didn't have this one. And well, you know, Halloween and fall. And I just love her witch images. Honestly, I could color these in like June and not care. But her artwork is just so... Very unique style, really cute. I love all her witches and fairies. Look at that one. There's a, um, oh, there's a hashtag for pumpkins. Some sort of hashtag on Instagram for pumpkins, but oh, these are pretty, pretty. Look at that one. Oh, that is adorable. I'm gonna do full flip throughs. I'm just kind of giving you guys samples, but I love Yana's work. Erica and I both have an obsession with her artwork, so well, that one's really pretty too. Oh my goodness. I prefer grayscale, but it depends on the artist. Like this artist, I will totally do her line art. So I guess it depends on how attractive the line art is to me. This is on the cover. Yeah, that is a really pretty one. Uh, I just love her artwork. It is just so... Oh, so pretty. Okay. <clears throat> These are kind of categorized in the same category. Um, I love at Halloween time, Kawaii and Chibi <laughs> witches. I don't know why. Um, I just do. So I got this Kawaii witch coloring book. Wait, who's this one by? I know who, oh, come on. Well, it's linked in my description. I know it's got an author. 
Um, so I got the Kawaii Witch coloring book, and then I got the Chibi Girls Halloween from Coco Wyo. I thought I owned this one, but apparently I did not, and I wanted it because it's flippin' adorable. So, um, I'll show you some of these. So this has the black background, so if you want to do, like, markers... But then look, some of them have black backgrounds as well, so you don't have to hassle. I just love breaking out my markers and doing like chibi and um, kawaii for Halloween. I don't know why. It's just, just something I do. My Copics get used more in the um, October than any other month. <laughs> it's sad. They just sit there till, till October. But how flippin' adorable is this book from Coco Wyo? It's it's adorable. Look at that. Oh my gosh, she's flying on a broom with her bucket of candy. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I, I thought I had bought this one last year. So when I went to go look for it, I was like, wait, I don't have that? Oh, so naughty of me. But yeah, so I do really dig these. These are super cute. Um, and then, yeah, here is the Kawaii Witch Coloring Book, which, by the way, has the most adorable image on the cover I have ever seen. Um, so that might have been part of the buying buying purchase. But also these images. Look at these. Oh, my gosh. These are so cute. Oh, so cute. I haven't started Halloween coloring specifically, but I have started fall. Like, I'm working on a, a Yana, Yana Prosperina page right now, actually. It's a fall witch. Um, she doesn't have any pumpkins or anything going on. No, fall fairy. Sorry. <laughs> Witches on the brain. These are really cute, too. If you want to see, like, oops, full flip throughs of any of these um, after the stream, put it in the comments below. But I'm just kind of giving you quick peeks. Oh, I actually hate coloring cats, but I would color that one. That's freaking cute. That's cute. That's cute. Oh, look, she's in a graveyard with her cute little teddy bear. Yeah. So, Lariza May. Hopefully I said that right. But this is a really cute. This is a cute one. I like this. It's not as big as the Coco Wyo one, but I like her, her chibi style or kawaii style. Okay. So, um, I might have bought a couple Coco Wyo books <laughs> this month. <laughs> I was trying to hold off on Amazon paper books, um, but there was just a few Coco Wyo books I could not ignore, and this is what happens, okay? <laughs> so um, I got the witches one. I've been meaning to get this, though, uh, and since now it's, like, close enough to fall and uh, all that, I decided to go for it. But these are really pretty. So black background, um, I have seen quite a few flip throughs of this. I'm sure you guys have, but gorgeous images. Oh, I know the Yana, the Yana fall and which ones are dangerous because they're so pretty. That one's actually really cute. I like that one. So these are all so pretty. Oh, I hate the paper, but love the art. Hi, Chris. I have links in the description below for everything shown here today. If I'm missing a link, oh my gosh, this is so cute. She's like got a little cauldron bubble bath going on. If I'm missing a link, uh, let me know and I'll add it because I'm sure I forgot some. Oh, that's cute too. But yeah, so this is a really adorable book. Um, there's quite a few flip throughs already on YouTube for this. Oh my goodness gracious, I want to color this one right, right now. This is adorable. So yeah, I'm really excited to color in the witch's book, actually. It'll be fun. <clears throat> okay, that aside. Ah, where's the other one that goes to this? Oh my goodness. Okay, oops. So, we have some Kanoko Agusa books. Now, these are the U.S. editions of the books that you can already get. Um, so, now these are on Amazon U.S. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, the paper in these I like way better 
than the paper and the original, but that's just me. Um, it's all about preference. So, you know, to each their own, but I grabbed the uh, Kingdom of Curious Creatures and you'll recognize these images, but really cute stuff here. But I really like the paper in this a lot more than the, um, is it Japanese edition? Uh, I really like this paper. I've done like one page out of my other ones, but the paper was like ticking me off. <laughs> so I'll probably use these ones a lot more. Ooh, this is the one. This is the one I colored in the other edition, actually, using ink tents. And uh, it did not, the ink tents in the other version's paper did not take well, like at all. Um, and so I, it kind of turned me off from those books for a while. Um, and this paper is smoother. And yeah, I just, it's, I don't know. My ink tents did not like that other version whatsoever. But yeah, these have been around forever. This is just the US edition. So you've seen a lot of these images, but I'm probably gonna end up coloring in these more than the other. And so then I also have the Garden of Fairy Tale Animals. Oh, no problem about the paper. Yeah, the um, the paper, I was kind of, I was wondering how they were going to reprint them out here. So I was glad it wasn't the same. Yeah, you can always scan and print on um, paper you prefer. And there's a lot of books I do that with, um, especially like Create Space books. Only reason I bought these US editions was to compare them to the other editions. And that's simply because I have a YouTube channel and um, people often ask me, you know, hey, what's the difference? Should I buy this? Well, I can't really answer that if I don't buy it and check it out. So <laughs> I'm not saying go buy both editions. If you already have like the other edition of these and you like it, stick with it. You're not missing anything other than the different paper. But um, same thing with Amazon printed, you can always scan, but not everyone has a, the ability to scan and print on good paper either. Um, so it's just, you know, to each their own. I really wanna do this stamp page. I don't know why, but I do. So yeah, that's those two that I had grabbed. And all this, by the way, has been bought over the last few months. I haven't done a coloring haul in, I don't know, it's been a while. Um, so yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. I got the Mythographic Menagerie. I was on the fence about this one because I have seen or heard a lot of mixed reviews, um, but it is the one from Fabiana Atanasio. And I decided to go with it because when I looked at some of the flip throughs on YouTube, um, most of the images struck my fancy. Like my rule is if 90% of them don't strike my fancy, then I'm not going to do it. But um, yeah, most of these, I was like, you know what? I could color. Some of these, I uh, probably won't. But uh, it does have the perforated edges, so you can pull them out if you want. Um, <laughs> they kind of stick together, though. Can you hear them popping? <laughs> That's the perforation doing that. But yeah, there was just a few, because like when it first came, I flipped through it to see if I was even going to keep it. Um, like this one, I really want to color this one. It's so cool. Like she's look at dancing along with butterflies, just popping out there. I don't know. It's just pretty. Um, that would be a fun one for Halloween actually. So yeah, I mean, there's some really cool images in here. There's some that are just like, what the, but I mean, that's with all these mythographics. I'm just happy all the hidden objects are going away. Okay. <laughs> like, because the hidden objects are what made me like, oh, but yeah, I, this one I know is wacky. I mean, she's got a bird, hummingbird head and she's on a boat, but I want to color it for some reason. 
And look, there's no like cell phone just hanging out in the water over here. So improvements, people, improvements. Um, this one's actually really pretty. Uh, I really, really want to do that one too. So yeah, I mean, it's just, this is what it is. I know there's a lot of mixed feelings about this one. So you just have to decide for yourself. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Hey, no judgment. But I ended up just pulling the, the trigger and grabbing it. So. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. Are we on screen? So Christy Rice, she has her seasonal um, cutting garden watercolor books. Wow, that was a lot to say. Um, and I own the spring and fall, but I had not purchased the summer or winter. So I went and bought those and I will be doing like a video on them. But these are on watercolor paper. So you don't need to like worry about that. It's not like crap paper. Um, and they're actually really cool. Let me just show you one here. But so this is the summer cutting cutting garden. Why is that so hard to say? I don't know. So you like open it up and she's got like a color wheel. And she tells you right here her ideal palette. Um, I know now that probably has changed. These are pretty old, but I mean, she gives you loads of information on the inside of the book. And then she gives you this. Oops. So now this is all bound really nicely, by the way. She gives you a full rundown of every flower. And then she even has painting tips on how to paint it and everything so you can look them up and whatnot and then this is printed on watercolor paper so it's really cool all of these books are so fun um and like i said i was just missing these two out of the collection so i just wanted to buy them she also has her painter lily days um those are more like wallpaper looking ones but they are also on watercolor paper but these are really fun um they're not cheap but they're not that badly priced considering what you get with them i honestly think they're worth but again i understand we all don't have the same budget but these are watercolor paper so that's the summer cutting garden my winter one got all warped because my mail lady is the laziest mail lady in the world. <laughs> so <laughs> I wish she wasn't, but like if it, a package will fit in my mailbox, which by the way, has an opening like this big, I kid you not, that woman will shove anything she can in there. So she bent this and that's why it's now warped. And I've set it under several books. So I'm going to put it in the bookshelf and wedge it. But um, yeah, love her. <laughs> and then she wonders why she doesn't get a tip at the Christmas time. <laughs> but so here's some of the winter ones. That one would actually be really fun. Um, yeah, I could color one of these live. That would be fun. But yeah, I wish my mail lady would not shove everything in my mailbox. She actually broke my mailbox. Um, it's like hanging on by a thread. And by that, I mean a thread of a screw. Um, like one knock and that thing's going to fall right over. But she shoved a box in there that I had to literally cut out with a box cutter. I was so ticked. Uh, I was like, what the heck? You can't walk up my porch for Pete's sake. So yeah, this is the winner one. And again, these have so much info. I'm gonna do a separate video on these though. Um, oh wait, they go this way, yeah. I'm gonna do a separate video on this collection because these are really cool books. All right. Now, these two you guys have already seen. I already have a flip through on my channel. These are also watercolor. Um, coloring books. <laughs> Your mail ladies in coots. <laughs> You're lucky if yours shows up. Oh, mine skips the neighbor down the street. Oh, it's hilarious. 
Um, I actually have complained to the mail or the post office because um, our mail lady claimed she attempted to deliver something that required a signature. And then um, I was like, no, she didn't. I was here all day. And so I sent them security footage from my doorstep and I said, show me where she knocked on my door. And so the postmaster at that office was like, I am so sorry. But yeah, she's still delivering mail. So um, I did do a flip through on my channel of these, but these are from Sucklums. So these are on watercolor paper, but you can also order them on, um, whatchamacallit, her smooth cardstock for pencil and marker. But very pretty. They're spiral bound. This watercolor paper is absolutely amazing. And I mean, the artwork itself is like, holy shamoly. Yeah, so um, I really am excited because this is awesome cold pressed watercolor paper. And I love that it's spiral bound. It got a little warped in my shipping, but uh, if you wanna see the full flip through, just check out the video on my channel. And because I'm me, I actually had her <laughs> I ordered both sets. So I have this set of watercolor and this set for marker and pencil. I'm not going to flip through them because they're literally the, the same thing. But I bought both because I was like, you know what? One day I might want to just play with markers. So yeah, look for that. But I also got, oh, I should have taken this off first. It's going to be loud. Okay, so I had also gotten this one. Now, I had purchased her PDF version of this, um, but I wanted to get it on the watercolor paper. So this is her Natural Enchantment Coloring Book um, from 2018. She is coming out with a new book, by the way. She let me know, so keep your eyes out for that. But this is also on that same watercolor paper. Look at these images though. Oh, so pretty. Um, look at that. That would be gorgeous in watercolor, wouldn't it? So with that, they would all look gorgeous in watercolor. But yeah, same awesome paper. So let me know if you guys want me to do like a full flip through of this one. But this one is gonna be fun. Um, spiral bound again, just in the mail, it gets a little kinked, but whatever. And then she included some stickers. Now these stickers are all colored by her. And look at, she is so talented. <laughs> she is so talented. Um, and then a cute little card as well. But I love her artwork. So fun. Okay. Ugh. Now I bought myself a little treat. And I'm going to unpackage it with you guys. So... I like Mystic Art Mirrors, um, but I don't normally buy her physical books because, um, well, I don't color every single page in her books, um, but when she came out with that candy one, I was just like, every single page I wanted to color, I just did. So I finally ordered a physical copy. Now I do have the PDF one as well but I decided to order my first physical copy from her. And by the way, she ships like freaky fast. <laughs> this thing came and I was like, well, hello there. So comes all wrapped. Let's see. Oh, I don't want to tear it. All right, so we've got a little envelope here. What do we have in here? We got some goodies. All right. So we've got her little cards here, but they've got all like of her different ones. So once upon a time, that's once upon a time. So yeah, we've got her little cards and then we've got some printed postcards as well. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. That is pretty. Oh, that's adorable. That really is. Ooh, a 10% off code. 
and then her one for kids. Okay, and then she wraps it in the paper that goes along with the book, so that's adorable. Yeah, I've heard the paper's really good in their books. It's just I never wanted to pay for the shipping and all that because there was never, like, a lot of her books, I love them so much, but I just, I never loved, like, every page. I wasn't like, ooh, I'm going to color every page, but this one, I'm going to color every page. So let's see what's in here. Ooh, is this a sticker? It is. Oh my gosh. Yay. Look at that sticker. Oh, that's so cute. That's really pretty. <laughs> I'm easily amused. Um, so we have this little thing of artwork here, which is on the sticker as well. Oh, is this the bonus page? This is the bonus page. Um, so yeah. Oh, this paper is nice. Hello. I like that paper. All right, and here is the book. So this is the first printed book of hers I've ever bought um, because I know I'm going to color every single one. Like, I'm all over it. Uh, so Candy and Cream. Ooh, I like the feel. Oh, it is nice and thick paper. See, I was always worried it would be crap. <laughs> so these are... So cute. Now I have colored this on tan toned paper, but don't you worry, I'll be back to color you again. I see every single one of these I want to color. I also want to eat. I need a snack while I color these, pretty much, is where I'm going with this. So I'm gonna get real fat, but it's fine. It's cool. I mean, like, look, her head is in a freaking bowl of strawberries, and I think it's adorable. <laughs> it's just so cool. I absolutely loved this book. When it came out, I was just like, oh, my gosh. And I did order a copy of her other one, that the ink and whatchamacallit. But, yeah, I love every page in here. I mean, this is kind of creepy, but, yeah, it's so cool. I don't know. I don't know what it is about this book. I'm just drawn to it. I love it. So yeah, I this is my first um, printed copy from her. And wow, this paper is nice. And I know it takes water because I've seen quite a few people use watercolor on it, but it is, it's smooth, which I like. I'm not a fan of the toothy paper. Oh my gosh, that is so fun. Oh, it is so adorable. I actually really, really wanna color this one. Little baker chick, it's adorable. Yes, the word adorable comes out a lot. And then she signs them, which is always awesome. So yeah, very excited to finally have one of her printed ones. I need to put that off to the side where it's not going to get smushed. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so that is it for books, thank goodness, because my poor bookshelf was just sighing relief when I de-stashed it. Ooh, sorry, that was loud. So next, I bought some of these dotted grid books here. And what these are, are just little dotted journals, but I'm using these to track all my adult coloring pages and color combos because I have been a very naughty girl and I have not been tracking my color combos. <laughs> I'll have people be like, what pencil is that? I'm like, I don't know. Um, so this is actually a three pack. Uh, the other book is already in use. I am being a good girl and writing down all my combos in there, um, and making sure so that next time someone says, what did you use? I can be like, Oh, let me look. But yeah, I just grabbed these cause they are really cute covers and they're really cheap for like a three pack. Um, and I wanted it spiral bound so that like I could open it like that because I absolutely hate, hate messing with the binding. So that's why I grabbed these. Um, not super fancy and exciting, I know, but I needed it. Oh, hang on, gotta grab my skizzers. Cause this has plastic on it and that's not gonna do us any good. So hold that thought. Hi, Autumn. I'm just trying to get the plastic off this book, but it doesn't want to come off. Whew, there we go. Okay. 
<laughs> tracking your blood pressure. Yeah, please do that. <laughs> All right, hang on. There we go. Okay. Whew. So I have the new Color It Pirates book. So the team at Color It has been really cool. They partner with me a lot. Um, they had sent this book over my way. Unfortunately, um, when they had sent it, I had COVID. <laughs> so I was like, oh my gosh, team, I'm so sorry. I haven't been able to do a video yet. Um, I do have a video this week coming out with this one, though, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about it, um, but it's actually perfect because there's an Instagram tag. I think it's Arg Argist? Argist? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Um, so this will be perfect for that. Um, and then actually my son, funny enough, my 13-year-old son is dying to get this book, take this book from me. And I was like, well, dude, I got to do my video. I got to color some pages. And he's like, okay, but can I have it after? <laughs> so um, keep an eye out for a video for this. Uh, but thank you to the Color It team for sending it to me and um, for being so patient because I was I was sick yet again with COVID. COVID's never going to leave me alone, y'all. It's just going to freaking hang out in my house. All right. Now, let's get to coloring supplies. I didn't buy a ton of coloring supplies or books um, because I bought a lot of watercolor again, which will be in a different haul video. <laughs> but I did buy extra blenders. I know these are the boring things in a haul. It's like, oh, check out my replacements. But you know what? This is what happens when you're a colorist. You have to eventually replace what you use. So I bought two more Prismacolor uh, colorless blenders because I was actually out, um, which was surprising because I used to have like a stack of 20. I just didn't pay attention. And then I had to buy some more Lyra Splendor Blenders because I went to go grab for another Splendor Blender and I had none. And I was like, wait, what? I used to have a bunch of those too. So I need to be better about tracking my, <laughs> my blenders. Um, so yeah, I grabbed these. These come in a two pack. Um, and then this one also comes in a two pack, but I ordered two of these because I use this a lot more than the Prisma. So this one here, you guys have already seen the video of me completing my Eurogitin um, Tombow set, but this was the last set I had to buy, and this is the one I bought. Whoops. So this is the, what is it called, desert or something? I don't know. They make it so hard. So they come in these nifty little volumes. I'm positive we are paying for packaging more than anything else. Hi, Wickabella. So in this set, it has the Volume 4 Pale Tone 2, Volume 5 Deep Tone 2, and Volume 6 Light Grayish Tone 1. But these are really, really cute, uh, the way they're packaged. They're like, oops, they're like little dictionaries. And look, these are pastel. So they're, they're pretty cute. But um, anything that says pale tone in the Eurogitin sets are the pastel colors. So I did swatch these um, on camera. You can check out that video. And these completed, ah, completed my set <laughs> as these ones fall out. Let me just flip that back over. Um, yeah, so Eurogitin are kind of a love-hate for me too, I'm not going to lie, but I think these are going to act a lot like the Derwent Pro Color. Um, I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit. Um, Pro Color, I hated, but then when I started using my Pro Color for hair, that's when I was like, oh, I actually like these. So... Um, I think I'm going to enjoy these for hair and whatnot more than anything else as I drop one. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I did complete the collection though, but that's because I have a collector's problem. Okay. 
Now, the video for these already came out. Um, the Kahlua Macaron uh, set. Spoiler, they're the same colors as every other set out there. Sorry, but it's true. <laughs> um, but I had fun swatching them and playing around. Where'd the swatch card for these go? Well, I had a swatch card. But yeah, there's already a video on my channel um, showing you guys these. They do indeed share a lot of the same names as the uh, Holbein slash Brute Fooner slash whatever knocks off. <laughs> but I'm just going to say I bought it for the tin because I knew the colors were going to be the same. I mean, yeah, they matched my castle art pencils. That's, that's why I'm like, where did they go? I thought the swatch was in here. But let me, now i got to zoom you guys out because this is going to need a little bit more space. Look at all this zoom in, zoom out. Ooh. So just like I said in this video, just when you thought you couldn't have any more, you can. <laughs> so... I don't know what's wrong with me at this point. I believe we need to do an intervention of pastel pencils. But while I was looking on the blessed Amazon, <laughs> did you know there is a 72 count of Indra pastel pencils? <laughs> well, if you didn't, you know now because here they are. Now, I was intrigued by the fact that there was 72 because everyone else is 50 and below. So I was like, 72? Say what? These came this morning. This is the one I was saying showed up this morning um, super early. It's like Amazon wanted me to show this today. I will be doing a video this week for you guys. Now, my tin, I'm going to tell you right now, is <laughs> it's so screwed up and beaten up. Oh my gosh. Whew. But I have the Indra ones that are like, what, 24 count or something? I don't know. The Brutes have, it's not 80 pastels. It's uh, pastels and neons in that 80 count set. FYI. Um, and these may have neon colors in them. Who knows? Hi, D. But I had to buy them. And find out now I have the other Indra um, ones I've done a video on them but they didn't have numbers these actually have numbers on them you probably can't see them as well but like this one here so they actually have a numbering system which is nice um, they look like flipping gems of candy oh my gosh look at these now, I really liked the Indra pastel pencils. Um, I'm too lazy to go find them in my pencil case back that way, but um, I actually really liked them. So I'm curious if I will like these because I assume it's the same, um, can't think of the word right now, same materials. But what's fun is they have a black barrel. So that pastel color just like looks so cool. <laughs> But they're really soft, and I had a lot of fun with my other Indra ones. So when I saw this 72 count set, I was like, mm, okay, let me look at that. How cute is this? It's flipping adorable is what it is. Mine got seriously beaten in shipping, though. So now these could have some neons. It's hard to tell with some of these yellows up in here. And at first I was like, do we have some dupes? But they have different numbers, so... What is it? Two. No, we have three trays. Um, I use my pastel lows. I'm not a big fan of my pastel lows. Emma knows that. I do have an aesthetics problem. I know. I know. And listen, Holbein's are beautiful, but I do not want to use my Holbein's. <laughs> I found the pastel low to be rather scratchy. Um, that's just me. Everyone else says they're creamy. <clears throat> Emma says they're creamy. I don't find them creamy <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> so um, I don't use my pastel lows as much. 
but I was excited to find these. Plus they had numbers because my other Indras have like zero numbers on them. So it's like, hey everyone, grab your Indra that has like this sort of pinkish color on it. You know, <laughs> like you can't color along with them. This one we can. So I'm going to swatch these out um, and do a video this week on them. But I was really excited they showed up uh, today. And the black barrel just makes these things look so, ooh, so cool. Let's see. I liked my pastel low. Mine are creamy. <laughs> You like your brute macaroons and Holbein's more. You would. You would. Yes, I'm not a Holbein person. Oh, shoot. Now I got to open this warped tin to put this back in here. But you all know how I feel about my Holbein's. It's okay, though. But yeah, my tin got like, it's dented up here. <laughs> it's dented here. So while Amazon delivered it early, I think they just threw it on my porch. <laughs> the guy needed his coffee. Okay. Yes, Holbein's don't smoosh. Holbein's require layering. And I think layering is ridiculous. I'm just kidding. I layer sometimes. Let me take a drink of water. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, I had a wonderful subscriber donate a set of Fantasia... Um, pencils for the watercolor pencil battle and I swatched out the Fantasia watercolor pencils and I was actually yes more pencils <laughs> um, I was actually really impressed at the Fantasia um so I ended up I was on Blick buying um paint I got a paint problem but that's another video problem um I was on Blick and they had these on sale. So these were actually cheaper on Blick than Amazon. So I decided to try them out because like I said, I was impressed at the quality. Why has everything got to be plastic? Um, I was impressed at the quality of the watercolor pencils. So I wanted to try out these artist pencils. So let me get the plastic out first. Hi, Christina. Ah! It was almost popped out of there. <clears throat> oh my gosh, the sound. Okay. So yeah, I haven't swatched these yet, but very interesting pencils. They almost are shaped like watercolor pencils, but they're not. Um, so they're Fantasia artist pencils. Um, suppose I don't know if these are. I'm sure these more wax predominant, um, but it looks like they got numbers, no names, color dipped ends. We shall see. Oh, welcome to the membership, Wikibella. Um, I mean, the tin is pretty cheap, but they come in like sets of 12, 36, 48, and supposedly 72, but I never saw the 72 count set, and that's fine. I just wanted to try these. So um, I am going to uh, like swatch these out and kind of play with them and see. But like I said, the watercolor ones were pretty impressive. So that's what made me buy the regular ones. So yeah, if anyone has these, let me know. I'm kind of curious. Uh, let me see what it says on the back. Um, it doesn't say. <laughs> Oh, F it, the FSC, that's actually always a good sign, but um, it says you can use them on a variety of different materials like wood, fabric, and board in addition to paper. Huh. Very interesting. So, um, yeah, I'll let you know what I think of these pencils, but when I had swatched the watercolor ones, I was actually pretty impressed, so we'll see. <clears throat> Okay, while I was on Blick purchasing watercolors, <laughs> um, they had these for like some sort of weird clearance deal um, of these Tombow brush markers. I paid $5.99 for this set of 10 Tombows. <laughs> um, so like, yeah, I could not say no. <laughs> 
to $5.99. And then I went back because I was going to link it for you guys in the community. And they were gone. So I don't know if it was like a one-time, like, oopsie or they were just de-stashing some crap. But I paid $5.99 for these. Um, now, I do have a couple of um, Tombows already. Here's the, the Tombow chart that I have. Um, now, here's the thing with Tombows. If you buy them in these curated sets, you're going to get duplicates, by the way. Um, so always keep that in mind. Tombow is not good about um, creating curated sets that don't duplicate colors. However, these are a one and done marker. So once it's out of ink, you literally throw this, this thing away. Um, so I only buy these when they're super cheap. So I was going to swatch um, and show you what these new colors were and then how many duplicates I ended up with. Because again, I got 10 of them for $5.99, which is really cheap. <laughs> so, um, cause I think open stock, they're like, what, two something, a marker? Um, where did I get the uh, chart from? Um, it is from, I cannot read the thing at the bottom. But I will, um, I will remember to link it in the description after the, um, the stream. But yeah, she had this chart here. So it was really cool because I was not about to go and do that myself because I don't own them all. But let's swatch a couple and see. Um, so let's see. I got number 62, which was one of my duplicates. And then I got 933, which is orange, orange. But yeah, like, so I knew I was going to get duplicates, but since I knew, you know, once these run out of ink, I just toss it away. I was like, well, I'll have two now. But it was also a really cheap set. So oh, let's see. Three sets are 69. Oh, they go on sale at Michael's all the time. When the sets are not on sale, the singles are. That's good to know. I'll have to check them out. So 817 was one of the new colors I got too, which is mauve. Mauve, mauve, potato, potato, however you want to say it. I'm not swatching these as neatly as I did before. Oh, that's a really pretty color. Now this is the retro. 10 count set. Um, 873 is coral. Ooh. <laughs> Guess that cappuccino. See, I had a cappuccino and then I forgot I was going to swatch something and stay in a box. That, that was my bad. Okay, so that's coral. Yeah, I couldn't resist $5.99 because I knew I would have to duplicate a few, but I was like, it's $5.99. Um, 8 45 is Carmine down here. But yeah, when I went to go link it, it was gone. So I don't know. Some Lick had some sort of mystery Tombow sale there. <laughs> I guess just browse Blick and catch those those sales. Um, and then this is six sixty five, which is purple. See, so I'm adding to my chart. I am nowhere near collecting all of these like Melissa is. <laughs> I've got like I don't even know. I'm not gonna count the empty boxes because we just definitely have more empties. All right, then we have 555, five, five, which was one of my dupes. I'm gonna put those there so I can remember how many dupes I ended up with. Um, 403 is bright blue. I wish they didn't have, um, like I wish their curated sets didn't overlap. Because their curated sets are so stinking cute. But then it's like, you'll go to look at the numbers and be like, oh gosh, I already have like three of those. All right. Uh, 373 is C blue. 
Oh, where are you? Oh, there you are. Ooh, this is a pretty color. I like that color. Can't stay in the lines. Okay. And then this one is 126, which is light olive. Hi, Elise. Tombo posted on their Instagram that uh, pull out tray storage thing. Oh my gosh, I was drooling, straight up drooling. If you're watching Tombo, I'll gladly take one. <laughs> I have no shame. All right, so I think I had what, did I have two or three dupes? I can't remember now. I think I had two dupes. Um, but yeah, so I've added some more to my little collection here. I have tons to go, but I am only grabbing these when they are on sale. Um, like, and by that, I mean like a ridiculous sale just because these aren't refillable. And to this day, it kind of baffles me because I'm like, it's so expensive for one marker. And yet it's just a one and done. And so I'm like, oh. Uh, they have the Lyra brush markers that are pretty good. Um, you know, if you're looking for a cheaper comparison. But I don't know what it is about these flipping Tombos. I want them, even though they're ridiculous. <laughs> like they're <laughs> so, I don't know. They've, I'm a sucker. Tombow one. I And it's the packaging. Okay, because look at that. Look at that. That's just cute. That's just cute. So, there you go. I get sold on the packaging every time, but I have added a few more to my Tombow collection and I've got like, you know, I don't know, 90, 80 <laughs> to go. <laughs> so uh, one day I will get there. I definitely need to collect some yellows though. I'm really lacking in that department, but that is like a pipe dream that I am not even like trying to work out. Like I am in no rush to fill my Tombow, my Tombows here. Um, Copics were another story. Tombows, I'm like, oh, I will get there when I get there. But well, that is my coloring haul, everyone. Um, for, let's see, I think I collected over the past two months, three months. Mm, can't remember. Ever since my last um, haul, let's see, I have a pack of the Tombos that are all blues. Yeah, I got that pack. That's why I have a bunch of blues um, and blues here. It had come in an art box. And so I had gotten that whole pack of blues. So, uh, but it was only five, five blues. But yeah, so that is my art haul, everybody, not art haul, adult coloring haul, <laughs> words, um, for today, a nice short live, just kind of showing what I've uh, purchased over the last couple months, um, and it's not as much, you know, I'm kind of toning it down, but also uh, I've been spending a lot of money on watercolor <laughs> goodies, Cause you know what Jackson's keeps having sales and um, just like I told Deb the other day I was so happy that they did not say Sennelier was on sale for their Friday sale because <laughs> I, I would have been screwed <laughs> so whoo I've dodged another bullet with Jackson's but um, there will be some watercolor swatching videos coming out because I have quite a few of those um, I will be doing a swatching video of these lovely Indra. Um, what are they calling these? These are limited edition, by the way. But uh, do they have a name for them? I don't know. Guess not. But I will be doing a video for these Indras this week. Um, and then, of course, checking out the Fantasias. So if there's any um, books that sh were shown today that you want to see a full flip through, just leave a comment when the comments pop up. And then, of course, uh, if there's any supplies you're curious about, just leave a comment on that. But thanks, everyone, for hanging out with me on your Sunday morning or afternoon. And I will catch you guys later. So until next time, bye.